never get free Lamb to the slaughter What you gon' do when there's blood in the water The price of your greed is your son and your daughter What you gon' do when there's blood in the water Look me in my eyes Tell me everything's not fine All the people ain't happy Hi guys, this is Raven Claw What If? Welcome back to another What If story. Now this is What If Deku is a High End Nomu Part 2. Now before we begin our story, I want to thank you um thank you for the um the color mood su suggestion. I'll be using it because you know I should have thought I don't know why I didn't think about it beforehand using the color spectrum for the green lamp for uh, for the lantern course. So, you know. Angry, Christmas, red. I guess that'll be red. Yeah, red. Brave, normal, green, fear, yellow, love, pink, hope, blue, greed, orange, no emotions, gray and silver. Shyness, brown, happy, white. And this is just, you know, like it says here, these are not emotions, but, you know, hostility, purple, and death, black. So, there's that. And, um, that's pretty much about it. What well, we have information-wise. Oh, and, um, my bad. I should have, um... I should have, sorry, I should have, you know, did this earlier, but let's get this out of the way. Okay. Now, judging by the poll, he's going to have a creation uh, cork. It's going to be limited to, um, to only, you know, non-organic material, like, you know, Weapons, staffs, and stuff like that. He doesn't have he doesn't have the same uh, limitation as Momo Yairoji has, where she has to you know know how the how how it works, everything like that. And he doesn't have to intake uh, you know fat cells that you know Momo has. He's going to have um, barrier or force field. So it's a black aura that stops incoming attacks. And he also is going to have wind manipulation. Now, this wind manipulation could be a little different. It's going to be, um, he's able to produce wind, um, visible wind blades, invisible wind blades. They're not visible to cut through solid objects. Kind of like, um, let me think, um, I'm trying to think of a good um, anime that has the similar ability. But basically, he conjures, sorry, wind slashes to cut down, you know, people or robots, you know, stuff like that. And he's, can, and I like this ability, the last one, personally. That's my personal favorite one of all the less I put on there. But... He's going to have, he's able to morph his hand into, sorry, he's able to morph his hand into a, a blade, not blade, <sighs> let's try this again, he's able to morph his hand into a sharp black metal claw blade, you're like, yeah, it's basically, you know, something that he has offense-wise besides everything else, so. I'm not sure if I want to give him telekinesis, but let's see how the story goes, and we'll figure it out. And let's get, you know, let's get to the story. We, I've already wasted four minutes of this video, so let's get it, let's get into it. As we cut to Shigaraki and, um, and Karigiri, as they portal back to the base... As they pour back to all for one, as ah, Shigaraki, how did it go? 
as Shigaraki bends down, Master, I have failed. As all for one smiles, of course you did. As Shigaraki's like, what do you mean, Master? It's simple, young Shigaraki. You were meant to fail from the very beginning. Dr. Ojiko, show him the Nomu. As the Nomu walks out of the um, dark area of the room, this is, as you know, our plan is to kill all of All Might. And we'll use this. If this fails, I have a backup plan. Isn't that right, Dr. Ojiko? Yes, Master. I was... As um, Shigaraki said, what do you mean? Backup plan. It's simple. <laughs> Young Shigaraki. No, a short pause for a second. Okay, I'm back. As you know, the Nomu that Shig oh sorry, the Nomu that Dr. Ojiko created has flaws. It's meant to have flaws, according to Ojiko's design. But anyways, that's not what it's important. It's important that he's a sleeper agent. Once once he gets close to All Might, in case the first plan fails. He'll get to close to All Might and finish the job. As Shigaraki, why didn't you tell me beforehand, Master? You're to need a no basis. Let's let's continue our operation as normal. And send Doctor Ojiko. I think that hero is going to be a problem. Send some Nomus after her. It's only a matter of time till they figure out your involvement with the <laughs> Nomu that they have in their custody. As we cut, several weeks has progressed as he's still in his, you know, padded, you know, in his cell. They don't know what to do as, you know, Nezu calls a specialist as several hours pass as um Inko is like who's this? Ah Midoriya Inko Midoriya this is her name's not important right now but she's just a plot point to make the story go further. This is Miss Field. This is Cara Field. She's going to she's going to Sorry. She's going to help us figure out what happened to your son. As he's in his cell, you know, in his glass cell that he, he's in. I'm uh, probably pause it because you're about to hear a lighter and I don't want to hear it on my videos anymore. So, okay, I'm back. Darn it. Sorry. This stupid phone. <laughs> my apologies for that. As... We continue. Her uh, quirk is very unique. Mind reading. Able to see into to anyone's subconscious. We're going to find out what exactly who is responsible for this. As she walks in to the cell, as Inko wanted to go in, as Nezu's like, let her do her work. Miss Midoriya. Yes, as he's, you know, he's kind of scared of, you know, people in general. So, you know, except for Jiro. Jiro is, you know, a, a um, Jiro's different. So as, you know, he's kind of in yellow form and his, his colors change to yellow. And she's like, hello, I am Miss Field. Please sit, sit down. I'm not going to hurt you. What is your name, young man? Void. Ah, um, young Void. Please sit down. Now, what I'm going to do is go through your... I'm going to read your mind a little bit. 
to see what's going on exactly. As you see, you as uh, as you know, void like you shouldn't do that. I don't you know. He doesn't like people in his mind. It's all right, dear. As she barely touches him on the forehead, as she sees flashes, as we cut to, you know, a little flashback, as Ojiko gas the chain, the cell, as she sees a young Midoriya, scared, as he's coughing up, trying to breathe from the gas, as she sees Dr. Ojiko, good. Bring the subjects into my, huh, bring the subjects in. So we begin the, uh, to begin the process of Novu, uh, of the Nomu project. As, you know, no vacation or something like that. As they, I don't know, like, how they do it. Like, I know they inject different DNA in a deceased body. But what I've read on, um, theories that, um... Spoil warning again if you haven't don't know about this, but they say um, according to all the theories that I've came across and um, a couple of videos I watched on YouTube that Kira Gary was um, not dead when he was turned into Nomu. So there's that. So that's the process they did with um, Izuku. As as they get the sorry, as they get the you know. The ingredients ready as they torture Izuku a lot before the Nomu the before the Nomu huh, process. As she sees the young boy screaming bloody murder. As she, you know, you know, stops touching Izuku as she's coughing up blood. And she's like, my god. What the heck was that? Yeah, she's like, we need more. We need, um, we need more, more of, I'm um, sorry. I need help. As she walks out, we need more, um, we need more of my, you know, as she, sorry, as she says, I need, my cork's not powerful enough for this. I need someone's help. Yeah, she calls on her phone. As several, as several um, people from, these people are from the government, so, you know, they have several mind readers. As a couple hours pass, as they go into the Izuku cell, or void, <laughs> as they begin the process, as they go into Izuku's mind again, as they see the process going through. As, as suddenly they all get thrown backwards after they see one scene. As Izuku walks through a dark room, seeing a man in a, you know, helmet. Hello, Izuku. Hello, huh? Ujiko, so this is the, pro this is your special project. Yes, all for one. As... They all convulse, all of them. As Izuku, you know, convulses as well. As they all rush in. As they sedated um, all the other people that were in there, including Izuku. As several hours pass, like, what happened? As all they could say is, all oh, for one. As... Nezu's like, thank you for your assistance. As all the people that were involved in this are kind of, you know, shooken by this. As Nezu thanks them for their assistance in this matter. Hello, All Might. Oh, Nezu, what can I do for you? Can you come to my office immediately? As I expected this from the very beginning... As a couple hours pass, as you know, all my gets there. I expected this for for quite some time. 
It seems like the young boy, the one who's responsible for this, you might know who he, you, you should, you should know him very well. As he, see the boy has several corks, more than I realize. As, um, small pause. All Might will know of, you know, expect all for one in this early on. As he explains the the different quirks he has. Even some of the um, dormant ones. That's like, I knew it. I knew he was responsible for this. This madness. As all for one bulks up. And is all might. Sorry. As all might bulk ups to his all might form. As now he's like, please calm down, all might. You're not a spring chicken anymore. My apologies, um, Nazu. I lost my cool there for a moment. But, but what troubles me is more, is a doctor called Ojiko. As, as they do some background, as Inko, would you, as they call Inko to her office, as they, we found out, we found out some more information. As she, as Nezu explains what happened, and Dr. Ojiko is apparently the one responsible for this mess. As, as Inko's eyes widen, it's like, that's that, that's that bastard doc. Are you telling me that bastard doctor did this to my son? The one who d diagnosed my son as corkless? And she's like, yes, we're running... We're going to have a, a team ready to to raid Dr. Ojiko's lab that he works at, that he's at currently. I had no idea he was, personally, it's, this is Nancy talking, by the way. I'm personally troubled by this, uh, by this development, judging how Dr. Ojiko has several clinics around the country and several orphanage if he's the round locations of what he's been doing god knows how many innocent children has been involved in this disgusting experiment as it goes like i want to i want to be involved in this oh, i kind of knew you would i kind of knew you would Concerning the the verity of the threat, normally I wouldn't. You're too close to this, but considering considering how threat how big of a threat this is, your assistance would be required. As several heroes, a couple hours pass as we cut to Inko, and it's um Inko midnight um. All for one. And Azawa. He would be coming handy. So as they bust into his office, one of his clinics, as he's like, Oh, heroes, I've been expecting you. Ah, oh, isn't it, Inka Midoriya? How's my little project doing? And she's like, Whoa. As she's getting disgusted by this, as she's like, you have no right to talk about my son about that, like that. As he's like, huh. that's laughable. Think you're a Karen. <laughs> you're acting like a Karen parent. You know, you know more than, you know as well as I know. You didn't care about the boy. You didn't realize he was gone until several months afterwards. You should be thanking me. I've improved him. And it's like, Ojiko, you're coming with me. As, as Ojiko is like, I think not. As, <laughs> as several Nomus come bursting out from the other room. I like to meet my. Some of my 
children. And several Nomu come popping out, out of the portal. As Dr. Ojiko is like, you please excuse me, heroes, but I have important issues to deal with. After all, I have other children to take, to take care of. As he goes through the portal, no moves, kill him. As he walks through the portal, the portal sh closes. As there's three no moves, as they rush All Might, Inko, and Midnight, and you know, Azawa. As All Might gets punched through several buildings outside of the clinic in the street. Inko try to grab. Sorry, Inko tried to stop the Nomu by pushing him against the wall. As he gets back up, grabs Inko and throws her out the window. As Azawa and Midnight take out, try to try to nullify the one Nomu they are, they are fighting. Their fight's not important. It's what important is is Inko's fight. As Inko's fight's getting thrown out the window. As, as he starts throwing, I'm oh, sorry, give me a second here. Okay, I'm going to change a little bit of Inko's quirk a little bit, just a little bit. He's, she's going to have um, telekinesis and, um, let me, I'm thinking of the word. Give me a second here, I need to look it up real fast. Okay, it's psychic kinesis. She has telekinesis and psychic kinesis. As the Nomu, sorry, as the Nomu, you know, breathes fire out of his mouth, as she's using her power to, sorry, she's using the power to block the, you know, try to push back the, the cork, as she's barely, you know, holding back. As she grabs, sorry, as she finally pushes back us, it, 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 it engulfs the Nomu as it instantly regenerate. As it grabs, you know, Inko by the throat, strangling her. As we cut to Izuku, as this is being broadcast all over the news now. As there's a villain fight, as he sees, you know, Inko. As he's walking back and forth. Visibly, you know, irritated, being stuck in here as he wants out. As he's, he has a TV in his cell. So as he's like, breaking news, there's a villain attack. Hero and hero, sorry. There's a hero and a villain um, fight going on as we speak. As it shows Inko, you know, her fight. As Izuku, you know, gets flashbacks of his mother. You know, little flashbacks. Nothing, you know, nice moments that she had with him. Before, you know, Asashi, you know, took off. As, you know, oh, as suddenly Izuku turns full on black. His body changed color to, to straight up black. There's no green whatsoever. As Izuku rips off the cork canceling bracelet, just rips it off, off his hand. As he punches, as he punches, as he um, throws a, um, sorry, a portal onto the cell um, window as he walks through. As he opens the portal to the outside. As he's portaling towards Inko. As Inko, you know, is breathing heavy. She's being choked to death, basically, what, what now is happening. I was like, I gotta do something. As she's... Blasting the Nomu with several objects she sees, you know, around. As she pierced the Nomu a couple times with a pipe. 
as it goes through the Namu, um, it goes through the Namu's neck, barely missing Inko by inches. As you have Midoriya onto the, um, on a roof of a building, looking down upon this, as there's, you know, we have our favorite, you know, sidekick, mentioning in, as, <laughs> Void, are you going to let our mother die like this? As he sees, you know, a reflection of, there, there's a building across from him. You again, what do you want? Are you really going to let our mother die? By the people that turn you into this. Look at that. You gonna sit by and just let, you know, the one who gave you birth just die. As he's a goose, shut up. As he's like, just get out of my head. As he's like, I can't. <laughs> I'm kind of <laughs> we're kind of stuck to each other. I just, you know, after all, like I said, I'm only thinking of your imagination, so <laughs> you only way you get rid of me is you stop imagining. But I highly doubt you're even capable of doing that. So I su I suggest you get your shit together, save our mom, and kill that thing. As as voids like, what do you mean kill it? Weren't you the one who's preaching about not killing? Blah blah blah. It's wrong. Blah blah blah. Yes, that was a person, but this is different. This thing's not technically alive. It's a creature that you could easily put down if you choose to. <sighs> Fine, if I do this, will you shut up for once? Huh, we'll see. Void. As the little Izuku's um, old self disappears from the window from the, across the building. As Izuku falls off the cliff. Sorry, give me a second. Okay. As Izuku steps off the building, as he's going through several portals, as he's falling, as he lands on the ground, as he stands back up, he was on his knee. He was on one knee as he landed. As he throws a portal up, Onto um, the Nomu's hand, on arm, holding Inko. As he extends his hand, closes his fist. As the Nomu's arm falls off, gets cut off by the portal. As the Nomu screams, a uh, screech. As Inko catches her breath. As she pulls the hand off of her. As she's just breathing heavy. As she's like, what the hell? As she looks at her. Um, Izuku, as Izuku walks past her, my name's Void, not Izuku. As he punches a no in the face, as he goes flying through a couple buildings, as, as he, um, sorry, as he throws his hands downwards a little bit, just, you know, a gesture, moving gesture. As his hand turned into claws, black, black metal claws. It's um very um. Now the metal, it's. Now the metal he does with his um hands. Sorry, the the morphing he's created with his um hand claws. I guess you call it. It's a mixture between using. His creation cork. And a little bit of his, um, sorry, let me, I just messed that up. Sorry, guys. Okay, scratch the idea. He, um, he has, um, kind of like Kirishima's, he has a hardened cork, but it's full of metal and it's, has, you know, cloth on it. So, you know, I don't know what type of metal this would be, but it, let's just say it's super strong. It's not normal metal, so. So as he rushes, as he rushes really fast wise 
to the Nomu. Pierce, as he swings his hand, cutting the Nomu's throat, as it falls down on his knees. As Izuku, you know, as he says, die. As he uses wind blade, use the wind manipulation, cutting the Nomu's head in half as it falls down. As Izuku portals away, comes to all, all to midnight and a Zal fight as midnight's trying to knock it out as it's not working. Because, you know, plot wise, I guess. <laughs> you no, know? but anyways, as it grabs onto it, it was about to grab midnight, about to, um, sorry, it's about to grab midnight by the head. As suddenly the hand falls to the ground, as a portal peers over the Nomu's part of his head, as it closes, as the head just as the Nomu falls dead, as Izuku disappears again, goes to All Might for his fight. As All Might's going, you know, for the attack. As you know, Izuku doesn't really. Un he doesn't, sorry, as Void doesn't well, fully know why he knows how to kill Nomus. He just knows how to. It's just an instinct. No, yeah, it's basically that. And, you know, it's the only weakness to the Nomu. So, you just, Izuku's smart enough to know that if you destroy the brain, it's not going to go any, it's not going to regenerate nothing. So, they have, like, minor super strength and the other ones have minor super strength and a little bit of regeneration, not as powerful as the one in canon that's going to be in later episodes, but it's, you know, a lesser copy version of it. As All Might goes, does a smash, as the Nomu goes flying across the city, as it hits a couple of buildings. As he's, as an All Might, what are you doing here, kid? How do you get out of your, um... How do you get out of the, the cell? As you know, he's here. He's you know wondering why he's here. As he's like, he's like, if you want to destroy that thing, destroy the brain. As he walks off, he's not gonna help Walmart. He kind of doesn't. Yeah, his um programming. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. As he portals back to, you know, Inka. As he grabs. As he portals her away. As we would cut to All Might fight. As All Might, you know, smashes the thing in the head as it dies. As All Might's like, damn, that was rough. As they gathered evidence, as they get all the no moose and. After a couple days, Izuku's back in his, his, Izuku disappeared. He's not coming back to UA for, a while, for right now as he disappears. As everyone's looking for Izuku, uh, Void, including Inko, as we can't find him. It's been, it, it's been about a week or so. It's been about a week. There's no sign of him. Where did he go? I need to find him. As you know, Inko is going crazy about that little, you know, her mother instincts kicking in. And then she's like, calm down, Miss Inko. He'll come back when he's, he's ready. But we have some troubling information we need to discuss. And she's like, what do you mean? It involves your husband. And she's like, what do you mean my ex-husband? <sighs> um... We found a Nomu that you fought. Yeah, the one that had had um, the fire cork. We found your ex-husband's DNA in it. What do you mean? Uh, we looked at your husband's personal life after he left the country. There was no job offer for him. My guess is the one who created these. Dr. Ojiko. 
somehow um, the job offer he had was a ruse. So they capture, somehow they capture your husband and turn him into that thing. As, she, you know, she's shocked by this. Are you telling me these villains are responsible for ruining my life and my son's? And she's like, unfortunately, Miss Inko, yeah. As she, you know, I need to find my boy now. As she... <laughs> Midnight talks some sense to her. And she's like, you need to calm down, Inko. I know you want to find your son. Just give him some time, as Nezu said. He'll come to you when he's ready. As we cut to Izuku. After several months has passed. As he goes back to the hideout. That they were supposed to be at. As they're gone. As Izuku, you know. Why, as you know, as Void, you know, sees the empty place, as he's like, why did you come? Why did you come back here, Void? Didn't I tell you these people are no good for you? Yes, I know that as well. I was hoping to, ah, oh, I see. So you wanted to get some revenge, was it? Judging by the color of your emotions right now, you're kind of angry. Uh, he's still pure black. As you should really return to to mom. As, you, as voids no, I have no interest in that woman. You say mom, but that doesn't mean anything to me. As, as Iziku says, if that was true, then why did you save her? As Void's quiet. That's what I thought. I suggest, you know, we head back to Mother. As Iziku, as Void's, I have... Um, sorry, as, you know, sorry. As Iziku, no. I want to... I need to clear my head. There's a lot of things I need to think over. As he opens the portal, as he goes through. As we're going to stop it there. Yeah, we're, it's a good point to stop there. As we're almost at 40 minutes. So, hope you guys have a good night and day, judging by time zones. All right, bye.